Hello and welcome back everyone to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve the problem set uh, 7 watch on YouTube. So in this problem we want to implement a program that takes uh, HTML code like uh, this here and we should return um, uh, the YouTube uh, link as this format here. So uh, we need to uh, access uh, this HTML code and take the link and output this link in this format. So uh, the function parse takes an uh, parameter s, which is the HTML, and it returns uh, a link in this format. So let's get right into it. And first we need to uh, use um, uh, this library and use the function search uh, to uh, find uh, to find the link so let's make a variable called match and it's going to be equal re.search uh, okay what we want to search is uh, okay I think if we just search for a source for this parameter or whatever it's called uh, it will be uh, better because um, uh, sometimes we'll have more than uh, one parameter so like height and width so if we just uh, search for the source and get uh, the link between the double quotes uh, it will be easier or it will be the easiest way I'm not sure, but uh, let's find out. So, um, the beginning of our string will be characters, 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 then uh, the source here. So, to uh, make, uh, make this happen, or the, we need to ignore uh, these characters. So, okay, let's use the dot special character which indicates that the character or the yeah the character is any character except for a new line i think and it will be well, one or more times so let's use the plus sign and after this we need to see if there is a source so let's type here source src and the equal sign and actually let's make the double quotes and inside the double quotes there will be uh, http s or oh, the s is actually um, uh, optional so the user uh, the user input could uh, have uh, an s or uh, not so we will add uh, the, uh, this sign here because this is going to be repeated uh, one time or uh, or zero times so uh, I think we need to change the quotes okay yeah now we are good so yeah the source will um, have HTTP that's that's for sure and the S could be there, so we will add this sign after the S. And actually, before we go on, I think, yeah, we need to switch uh, the quotes. So the quotes inside should be double quotes because the link will be in double quotes. And the outside, let's make it single. So yeah, I think, uh, yeah, 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 this is, I think the other way won't work. So yeah, let's go on from here. After the HTTP or the HTTPS, we will find a colon, then uh, two slashes, and yeah, uh, the www dot is also um, optional, so we can find it or uh, it will not be there. So we we will need to add this in a bracket and add the question mark sign because this could be re uh, could, this could be uh, there or not so after this we will find 
uh, YouTube uh, YouTube.com and Impid so all of this all of this will just copy it because it will uh, for sure be there so let's type it here and after this uh, we should find uh, this link here so let's um, uh, bec uh, we are going to use this uh, this is the most important thing in the link uh, because we will also edit or uh, print it uh, with a new format so we need we need to put the uh, put this in a uh, parenthesis because we will use it again so here should be uh, a character any character except for new line and uh, once but one once or more times yeah so let's put the plus sign and the close the parentheses and uh, we we don't need to capture this group here so let's make it a uh, non capture and i think uh this is it okay so let's actually try i know it's a bit complicated i will explain it once more time uh after i make sure it's working so if match Let's return true, otherwise, return false. And let's test on a HTML like this one. This should return true. So, hopefully, yeah, it works. So, let's see if this big HTML would work. Hopefully it does. It's also working. So let's test once more time. If uh, the www dot is not uh, there, so I'll just remove it and the copy. This should return also true. So yeah, great. That's working. And uh, what else? Okay, let's test if there is no link, what will happen. So let's just type the same but without the link. Let's make it a link for Twitter, for example. Search so deep. Com. Okay, let's see if that will return false. So yeah, it returns false. So let's explain the complicated logic here. So first, uh, we will just um, ignore the first part. So think of this like uh, we will uh, we will find whatever characters here. We don't care about them. We will just uh, need to check uh, at uh, whenever we see the source so any character will be behind the source we don't care so that's why you added the dot and the plus uh, whatever is typed here uh, it doesn't matter uh, as long as we d see the src we will start um, uh, seeing if it's a valid link or whatever so uh, now it's a source equal to so we know for sure that this will be in our HTML or if it's valid so we will just type it here because it's not uh, something variable it will be uh, here whatever the format is for the HTML and this will be also the HTTP uh, we know for a fact that it will be there but the S uh, doesn't need to be there so the link could be with an s or without so that's why we added uh, the question mark sign and uh, we continued on uh, to type the rest of the link so colon and uh, uh, slash and slash and because the, the www dot uh, doesn't have to be in the link uh, we put it in uh, the brackets and after the brackets we put a uh, question mark sign that indicates it can be there uh, 
but it doesn't have to so it's it's going to be there or not so that's why we added the question mark sign and we also uh, made made the, the this group non capture so we, we when we access uh, the groups uh, this will be will not be uh, included and we continued on uh, with the link uh, so youtube.com uh, uh, slash embed slash will always be there so that's why we added uh, this part uh, the same and after the last slash we will find the most important thing in our link that we will use after which is this here so that's why we uh, put this in the parentheses because we need to use it uh, after we find it uh, after we capture this group here so uh, yeah we here added uh, dot I think it's uh, obvious here so it's any character uh, once or more one or more times and uh, the end of our link is going to be double quotes and that's it yeah I hope it's mm, yeah not really complicated now so let's move on if uh, if match so if we found uh, the link we will just edit this line and it will be pretty simple here so let's make a variable called link and it's going to be equal to uh, this part here because this part is fixed it will always be there or we we will always output the link in this format so let's copy uh, the first part and put it in a uh, double quotes and we need to add uh, this part uh, to the link and because this part is not fixed it will depend on the on the video so we will add the match dot group one so yeah that's why we captured uh, the last part of the link so whatever video uh, we have uh, we will always put the last part here and that part is what it what matters and uh, finally uh, okay we don't need to return false okay we actually need because if the link is not a YouTube link uh, we will just need to return the link here and I think that's it let's actually try and hopefully everything is working let's try this HTML and the return value should be the this line here so yeah as you can see it is working Okay, let's test in this big HTML. As you can see, there's uh, more parameters, and the source is not the last parameter. So let's see if that will work. And that is not working. So let's see why. So the link. Okay, I think the problem here is because this is greedy uh, if you write uh, if you write the dot i think it will uh, it will keep going so it will not stop here because there is uh, also double quotes here and there i'm not sure if that's the case but uh, i'm sure that uh, this dot here will all will uh, keep uh, reading characters until uh, the end of our string or until it finds um, a double quotes so as you can see yeah I think that's the case because here it stopped here if you can if you notice that this is the last double quote I'm sorry for the noise so the the solution for this is actually pretty simple we will use uh, the question mark sign and that will uh, make uh, this non greedy so it will stop uh here so it will stop when it finds uh, the double quotes so let's try again and let's try the same html and hopefully this time it works so yeah it works now so that's the fix for uh, the last problem 
and let me explain it once more time so in this big HTML we uh, in this uh, in this uh, bracket uh, before we add a question mark we are uh, here exactly so this dot and plus we'll see this as a character so yeah it's valid the character is valid 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 and it will not stop at double quotes because it's not the last double quotes so the dot will see it as a character which is not a new line so it will keep reading it will keep reading it will keep reading it finds a double quotes but it's not the last double quote we can read that so it will keep reading and so on until this here so it will read picture and it will not read uh, this double quote be double quotes because it's the last one uh, so yeah as you can if you notice uh, uh, when we tried uh, to run the, the program um, in this big HTML you can rewind you'll find that we stopped exactly here it, it didn't uh, read this part here because it's it uh, this is the last double quotes so when we add the question uh, mark again it will now be non greedy so uh, if it finds the double quotes it will just stop and will not uh, go on so yeah that's uh, that's the fix for that and I think uh, our program is ready here so yeah but let's uh, let's uh, check uh, by running the exam the examples in the problem we already actually uh, uh, tested the first two examples which is to type uh, this HTML and the second one is, is this, this HTML sorry and our final test is to okay I'll just copy it and I'll explain let's run the program uh, and the last test is to uh, put a link which is not for YouTube so this now should return false Okay, great that's also working and yeah that's the end of today's video thank you for watching I hope uh, I explained this uh, regular exp expression well I'm sorry if, if I if I didn't it's a bit complicated and it's hard to uh, explain and yeah thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time